guys, welcome. This is Unfinished. My name is SK Gitonga and this is the only place where we get to finish Unfinished Matters. Today we are talking about body shaming and our first obvious question is what is your concept on body shaming? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Body shaming is uh, giving someone comments maybe about their body that will make them feel less of themselves. It, it will make them feel bad about themselves. I feel shame about Muliake. Yeah, I think it's the same thing. I know a wide meaning. It is just self-explanatory. Yeah, uh, body shaming is insulting um, a person with the bodily features. Yeah, making them to feel bad. Yeah. Well, body shaming from what I've seen from uh, the internet, tunakuta tutu anakuchomea kwa sababu unaka either fat, mume konda, you know. So you shouldn't criticize somebody on maumbile yake. No, no. You should be badala ku criticize una kama for example ni mtu amenona una faulize ni nini mbaya maybe some some nini watu ku gain weight labda inaweza kuwa problem you never know unaona ama kukonda inaweza kuwa ni disease so mimi kikuja nikisema yeye umekonda unajua that it will bring that trauma to you utajiulizanga mbona nakula na sinoni unaona so badala ku ku criticize unakamuna niuliza eh ni nini mbaya what's happening ndio tuanze from there the, the, the good the how to solve a problem is to know a problem you see so says i can't come with a judgment na sijui shida imetokea wapi like kufanya mtu asikie vibaya je venye anakaa ama venye ameumbwa ama venye his or her insecurities per se body shaming i don't see if it has a a big problem because if kama we ni mkonde kama mimi we ni mkonde tu na iko hivyo if you are uko na mwili kubwa uko na mwili kubwa okay me telling you that uko na body kubwa i'm not uh, sikutukani yuko hivyo ama anadanganya uh, my take about body shaming uh, to be very sincere is uh, i don't think it's right i don't think it's good at all but say it okay it's it's talking negatively ama oppositely of a body of a, of some of someone's shape mwenye ni contrary to the to the majority no no for instance if i'm in a society of fat people na mimi ni mkonda i'll be body shamed because i'm thin but if i'm in a society of thin people na mimi ni mnono which is the most common one i'll be body shamed because i'm fat no no again if i'm in a society of albinos and i'm not an albino i'll be body shamed because i'm not an albino and if i'm in a society of non albinos and man bino again another common one at the body shame because i'm an albino so i think body shaming na depend na na majority in the society ama in the surrounding because if niko unique in a in a different way i mean in an opposite in an opposing way then i'll be body shamed body shaming kwangu okay for me ni kama ku ku embarrass mtu juu ya figa yake kinda yeah kama mtu akupate ukiwa maybe your teeth iko nje kwangu si kwangu si kitu kwangu si po okay it's really bad sababu hata bible inasema god created us on his, his own image so like vile msiana ka na vile vile msiana ka si si kujitakia Uh, so i discourage body shaming body shaming is a discriminating or talking ill about someone because of their color shape and maybe size my opinion on this is that um you should be kind to people it does not have to be kind you have no idea what they're going through you have no idea how they even got there in the first place there is a notion that says that chubby people are lazy people which takes us to our next question do you think overweight people are lazy people let me know what you think in the comment section No I don't think they are lazy some are biologically heavyweight 
people being lazy. Mimi siwezi Sidani kama ni lazy as much as kuna wasi wenyewe. Labda eh kuna wasi huko na mwili juu ya laziness. That's very true. Alafu bado food, alafu pina depend na jinsi yako. Yeah, so I think ni ni more inaweza kuwa ukweli na inaweza kuwa uongo. It's a 50-50 thing. Yeah. Okay, I don't think overweight people are are lazy unless you want to be lazy yourself. So I can't blame it on being overweight, yeah. Yes, they are very very lazy. Unajua ukienda kwa meeting, uone mse yako fit. Na maanisha huyu jamani ndanga zidu, ako discipline mentally and physically. You know, you can't buy a good body hata kwa kuna do. So you have to work on your body. Omkes asubuhi, uende morning run, ufanye push up kidogo, ubibe dumbbells kidogo. So but kwa uko lazy unakula fats nyingi awendi zido unakaa tu and then your body inakuwa tu obese yeah i know ah so you got lazy do at least anaweza fanya kitu eh watu si kama kabuda kabuda is not lazy you are tiktok sana dance na na nini ni tiktok ni tiktok tiktok influencer sawa kuna do Yeah. So, how to work like lazy? No, they're not lazy. Cuz um neza kuwa ni genetics. Hiyo hiyo ni mahali wazazi walikosea. Haizi change. Neza kuwa hata hakuli sana but ananaona. So, they're not lazy. See. Plus they kuna kama vinye there's a lot of type kuna maua of different types the same as kuna wasichana with different type of bodies men with different type of bodies so yeah you have seen several people who work on a mwili kubwa na they are, they have done so many things that they can do so several of things yeah so body i matter mtu kukuwa lazy ama kama wewe ni lazy ni lazy tu hata ukwe mkonda haja wewe ni mlezi tu talala na kama wewe ni mtu mwenye unajituma utajituma tu out of the body uh, maybe some are maybe some are not Overall you can have people who are slim but they're still lazy. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong but I think I'm right. I know I'm right. But I don't I don't think all of them are lazy because I have some friends who are who are who are fat but yeah, they're not they're not lazy. Okay, okay, wait. Somehow it's genetically determined for those who are not over eaters. For instance, I'm a heavy eater. I, I eat a lot because I'm an athlete. I'm an athlete, actually. I do play. People, they don't even cover it. I'm not sure. Like there are those who eat very little, but no one must say only biggy. Again, but it can be controlled. Over, over, being over it can be controlled by doing workouts and that stuff, detox and these other things. So you depend on effort yako towards that. Again, I wouldn't say that not working out is being lazy. There are those, those who don't prefer working out. Yeah, of course, they are very lazy. Extremely lazy, but at some point, see lazy juni malia wa mekula. Yeah, walingangana, wanoni, but sasa, after wa mesha aja, badala wa wapunguze wa kue stable, wakakuwa lazy kuenda gym so wanangangana kutafuta do but lazy kutengeneza mwili yeah no see si, sidani si, sioni si, ah they are not lazy because if they were lazy on your wamekonda that's why wako nini sababu wako wako big because of their efforts eh uh, eh yeah, the, the lazy people ni ni, ni sisi watu nona wasu tunasema economy imetupiga ni sisi Sisi ndo the lazy people sababu we don't fight for what's ours we depend on people's on kwa watu wengine eh yeah I don't think chubby people or overweight people are generally lazy there are people who have it genetically from their lineage you know their mom has it the mom of their mom has it it's just something they have no control over although we also do have people who are just big because they do not work out they eat excessively and are not on a diet but also being chubby is not a reason for you to be lazy let's take a short break we'll be back with two more questions <laughs>